Able to On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont. Welcome to this edition of Able and On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the different able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene Seiler. And uh, on this edition of Able and On Air, um, for the next uh, 28 minutes, we're going to be talking about um, the fatal shootings in Ohio and El Paso, <clears throat> El Paso, Texas. Uh, before we do that, we would like to... Um, Thank our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and um, uh, Champlain Community Services. We would like to welcome Ron Rondon of Road Trip with Ron Rondon from uh, Brooklyn Free Speech One. And um, w uh, welcome, Ron, to the show. And we welcome you back again to the show. Thank you very much. And everybody's watching Road Trip right now that we're taping the show. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, uh, we would like to um, talk uh, uh, about the recent shootings. Ron, what is your take on the recent shootings that I'll tell you happened? Something. I'll tell you something. It's been it's been a nightmare, like a two day nightmare. When you look, for example, El Paso, Texas, at a Walmart uh, superstore, it was so much shootings. I said, "Are you kidding me? I don't know why security and everywhere been blocking." Everything and didn't like pay attention to what's gonna happen until it starts. Twenty-two, twenty-two people d passed away, including Mexican nationals, um, uh, one German person, uh, the person who shot up the Walmart. He, according to CNN and other news reports, he drove t the the suspect drove ten hours. To, from where he was, wherever he was living, drove 10 hours to come and, uh, according to him, uh, according to the suspect, he wanted to shoot Mexican people or illegals. Because he didn't like them. And, and about a day and a half ago, Trump gets on, uh, on television from the White House, and Obama... Um, the, the minute Obama went into office, there was a law, right? And the law was signed. There was a law signed. If you get your Social Security due to your Social Security check due to um, a mental challenge, if you're on psychotropic medication for a mental challenge, not physical, but mental, um, you cannot have a gun. But now it got reversed, according to Trump. Now anybody can walk in somewhere and and have a gun. It, it's going to be completely ridiculous. Absolutely stupid. This is what. How nice happens. is that? What is this world coming to, Ron? What's the world happening? Put put it this. I know. Uh, I'm looking something up. Put it into the phone, looking something up. He the wrong thing and put everything back in reverse, and he is a very dumb move, and I don't know what is the matter with Trump has the wrong. He put two years in office, he's going to start doing something stupid, like yeah. everything dirt, and then people in illegal aliens, and immigrants, and everything else. But the gun control that reversed everything, and he supported the NRA and everything else, and also, and also, according to the according to USA Today, the mass shootings that happen could prompt the Supreme Court to sidestep cases. Uh, in other words, they're going to stop the Second Amendment, or they might stop the Second Amendment now, or 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 work on doing that. The so there's 22. There was 22 dead in El Paso. So um, there's 31 dead completely. Um, according to the two shootings, at least 31 people, according to CNN.com, 31 people were killed over the weekend in mass shootings in Texas and uh, Texas and 
uh, Ohio. 22 people were killed in El Paso in a mass shooting on Saturday. Police said they, they found an anti-immigrant document exposing white nationalist supremacist uh, racist views. So, everybody's racist. I mean, even in Brooklyn, they're putting swastikas all over the place again. And, 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 the, thing, that. That. and the thing is, the synagogue shooting uh, in um, Pennsylvania, one Pennsylvania I mean, what, um, years ago, this is going back to back in the early 50s and uh, late 40s, early 50s, you can leave your door open, your friends would come over. Now yeah. you can't even do that. No. Not anymore, because this is why too much security, because if they leave a door open, they're, you've been burned, because they're going to be robbing stuff right there, left and right, and that's how the yeah. fall of it. Mm. Yeah. It's just... Horrible. It's just very horrible. Um. So, do you think they should abolish the Second Amendment? I mean, the right to bear arms. I mean, here in Vermont, it's a, it's an open carry state. Well, they will say that in New York, because let me tell you something. Because you want the gun control to pause and end the war. It is really the most dumbest, the most ridiculous, and the most outrageous. It's uncalled for what they did to the gun control. And it's bring illegal aliens everywhere. Like, for example, there's some in Saudi Arabia. So even though we have one from somewhere near Saudi Arabia, I don't know how long it was. It was a long time Take ago. your time. Take but your time. Happened. Speak slowly. Take your time. Go ahead. All right. It was from New, from somewhere in Saudi Arabia to New York, and they were like shooting people randomly. Another person in Chicago. You mentioned about Chicago not too long ago, Larry. Yeah. Well, here's here's the other thing. We're talking about Little House on the Prairie days, uh, 1800s, early 1900s. Right. If you needed to shoot. Um, uh, an animal to survive in terms of eating, you can do this. Uh, there's people here in Vermont that live in the mountains that the only thing they have to survive is a deer or, 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 or you know, bison or something to eat, a rabbit, you know, and they have no, they hardly have a, hello, you there? Yeah. They, ha they hardly yeah. have a store. I agree on that. If, if that's the only way for you to survive, and you have to eat to survive, then by all means, shoot to um, to yeah. eat. But yeah. if you have no store near you, but just like this, walking with a gun, okay, I'm gonna shoot 22 people today. It 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 journalistically, it makes no sense. Not one bit at all, because no. that is the real dumb move. And I yeah. believe... I agree with you. It's disgusting, Ron. What is, you have sick people in this world. Sick. Exactly. There's people sick. Like, for example, I say this, uh, with illegal immigrants, even here in Brooklyn, we have a lot of illegal immigrants. I know, I know. People from Jamaica. Make a... really sick. Uh, make I know. Um... Yeah. But, but um, okay, I mean, we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's talk sports for a minute. What's going on yeah. with your show? If, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Well, as well. As, well, as you know, we're getting ready to kick off season number six in October, by the way. It's a hundred, already the 180 show. There'll be yeah. a lot of a couple specials with, um, with our good friend. If you, don't, you don't know the guy. I hope uh, uh, Arlene knows the guy, uh, John Keybon. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And he has, a, he has a terrific band. It's called Jam and John and Psychedelic Thunder. It is, I'm sorry, Psychedelic Tornado, to be exact. And it's a great band, and they perform outside the, do a rock and for autism. And it's going to be posted sometime in late August, and it's going to be just like that. And it's going to air next week for people who mm. are taping the show. It's going to be on mm. the week of August 16th. It's going to be great. And we raise a lot of money for autism speech. And are, you doing, are you doing talk show anymore with your sports? Well, not for now because you know we got some more big shows coming up, and of course um, next season because it's going to be season six. It's going to be the countdown to the fifth anniversary and two hundred shows for Road Trip because it's going to take place mm. in April of twenty twenty. So it's just going to be a very big next uh, two segments, of two seasons of it. Mm. It's going to be a one hell of a year because we're going to be some new 
stuff. I've never Christmas and December celebrations. Mm. Uh, we got some big music guests. Um, the people at uh, you know the place called Green House Cafe in uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Well, they have open mic nights and nice guy uh, Don Turner. And if you've seen his performances, plus some great outstanding mm. open mic performances, we'll have some this season. And the best part about next season is. It's going to celebrate the best six years of five years of the show. Both to be wow. So what, anyway, about, yeah. what about a game show block party? How many years has, this, has that been? Right now, it's 11 and a half years. Wow. Artists are holding this show. Wow. And it, it's done over four, close to, um, 450 shows and beyond, I might should add. He's done you know, so many games in Great Passover and the, the Brooklyn game for the kids, uh, game show party, and Party uh, Life is another good show. And one of another new show called Trivia Derby, which will be part of next season, by the way. Mm, it will be wow. to watch that classic. And I saw it first, I saw it first, man, it's a it's a little like the celebrity sweet take portion, but it's the kids play the game. That's what Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. So, Pretty good, and, yeah. Um, and by the way, if I call a plug here, the show is are now moving from Brooklyn Free Feast 2 to Brooklyn Free Feast 3, and it's on Sundays at 12.30 in the afternoon. Why? why so there's no more Free Speech 1? Brooklyn Free Speech 3 for Game Show Block Party. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, and of course, there's also an encore presentation late night Saturday at 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so, you're, so, what, so, you're what is your take, so what is your take on these sports teams, uh, on the Yankees, the Mets, and everything? Well, right now, I am really surprised the Yankees and the Mets are doing well this year compared to last year because the Yankees done well. The Mets had a lot of trouble, but changing last week, when they won seven in a row, this is a team we we look at as Jeff McNeil is one of them, yeah. who is one of the heroes of the Mets, who also won a home run derby this year for the first time ever yeah. down in Cleveland. This guy deserves to be a rookie of the year candidate because he has no problem whatsoever that um, he will get his well, award. Well, the Yankees... The Yankees had some ultimate uh, hitters. We're talking about like um, his. Oh, Ben. I was looking. Well, I was looking at some old footage of Thurman Munson back in the seventies. Yes, I remember that in 1979, and yeah. we've been so. I was looking at uh, old Bay Ruth when he was when he was <laughs> playing for the Yankees. Yeah, absolutely. The time before he came from Boston to New York. Yeah. And, uh, I thought he liked his murderer's role. That's what he always called. If, if, if Babe Ruth was still alive, we if Babe Ruth was still alive, uh, we would definitely send him to Washington. I mean, he's known as the Sultan of SWAT. Maybe he could SWAT Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Because that could be a very important part. Hey, you like these little guys? Clap, you have done too far, stupid. This is where I'm going to swung you off to his president and get you in peace. That's what I gotta do that anyway. Yeah, you have to. Getting um, so so. What's coming up in the basketball season? Do we know anything with the draft picks well, yet? And first of all, I want to say hats off to the team that got it <laughs> earlier during the season, and that Toronto, the Raptors, for the first time ever. And I think the first time Canadian team gonna have a championship. They deserve it. And I tell you, even for MVP Kawhi Leonard. I think after coming from San Antonio to Toronto, mm. that, my friend, was a fantastic pick. They did a great. Mm. But as for what Brooklyn... About, what about Brooklyn Nets? That was the next question. I was going to say that. Because we got two of our guys here, and I'd say the best guys we can say this, uh, Kyrie Irving is joining the Nets this season. Good. And, of course, Kevin Durant. I've been waiting to hear Durant's name all my life. I said, Durant in my head, Durant in my head. He's mm-hmm. a Nets. And thank God we'll have a new Nets this year. This is the, now, this is the team where we've seen them. They have done it for our last season. They did very well. Now with two big guys coming in, I think this could go even further, as close as they can get to an NBA Eastern Conference Final. That's mm, yeah. the next step for them, anyway. Mm. Um, now, uh, do you know anything about what the hockey season is going to come up with? Oh, and you think that's good. 
St. Louis Blues, if you remember, uh, the Blues won their first ever championship. And that, this is like getting revenge back from the Boston Bruins when they yeah. shut out um, St. Louis in four games back in 70 when Bobby Orr scored the game winner to win the championship. This incredible St. Louis team is going to be a very good staple to bring this team to stay in St. Louis. Yeah. And they did just that. They are first championships. Now next season, what will the local teams going to be, like the New York Rangers and the New York Islanders and the New Jersey Devils? Yeah. That's going to be the very important stuff if they can get some good players and if they right, can yeah. help it up the next season. Did so they we'll move the Islanders to Brooklyn? They're still in Brooklyn, yeah. but soon will be moving to Belmont Park very soon. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's by the that's, that's by the raceway. They have a raceway there, at Belmont Park. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I've been there a few times for races. It does, for the horse oh. races. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I, I've been there since 1998. I went there for a long time. So yeah, I went there a long, long time ago. Yeah. Couple yeah, of times. So we're oh. looking for it. I am looking happy. Look for it. Islander fans are really looking for. It. They bring the team back from Long Island. They got their new arena. This is going to be very something special. Yeah. Uh, but for the time being, they're still in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, and they're also temporary at the um, uh, the arena at Nassau Coliseum, uh, NYCB Bank Center at Nassau Coliseum. So this is going to be before we permit over in Elmont. So it's going to be very mm. special. So what? Um, anything with horse racing, by the way? Well, nothing much this season. I'm, I'm still looking forward to this because I know for a while. I mean, when the weather gets nice, you go to Belmont. They have nice, you know, you could. Yeah, I, may, yeah, I might be going next year. Hopefully, we get a triple crown possibility. So you never know. But as far as the football yeah. season, I don't know how we're going to feel like uh, if you've been diehard New England Patriots fans. I know your show is based over in uh, Montclair. And yeah. I said, there's a lot of um, Patriots fans up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not just, a Patriots fan. Boston Red mean? Sox, you know. But I'm not, I'm not either fan of them. <laughs> and even for talking Rhode Island, the for talking Red Sox. For talking to me, um, <laughs> All right, so getting back to these mass shootings, do you have any advice for anyone? Well, I would say, I would say just uh, in my words, for example, but this is this has been hours. Of, I did a show before, uh, back a year and a half ago, when Nick and I had filmed the show, and this is what I said. This has been so much shooting that's been happening. It's been driving me crazy. If you go back, not only we have seen here mass shootings, think about the other mass shootings that's been happening. Even in the state of Florida, with their teenagers killed. Yeah, back yeah, there. Oh, and doing that concert. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and the concert. Don't forget that in Las Vegas. Yeah, I remember that. That was horrible. Oh, my God. That was the most horrible. 54 yeah. people across yeah. Las Vegas who've been wanting yeah. to see a big conference and a shooter inside a hotel that rains fire. That is a really sick thing. Yeah. This is what I said. The shooting is really gone this far, and I don't support shooting. I don't support me, gun control. Me, but it's time too. to put really put in. Congress and the people of the Supreme Court, this is it. You've right. got to... Ron, I tell you, the only, the only people who should carry guns is, is, is law enforcement. Yes. And why the law enforcement continues to be happening? They don't pay attention. But they, they do police carry guns. I know that for sure. But it's time to get an end on every single one else and get this whole situation down. Right. It doesn't matter if you have guns. It doesn't matter if you have knives. You don't have machetes. It doesn't matter how you get stupid weapons. It's time to end this crime once and for all. I agree with you. Yes, it is time to just stop this, 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 these the shootings and these mass murderers. You know, just gotta stop it and put, put an end to it. Absolutely, because let me tell you, because when you see a person with a gun or been, uh, or been killing, and if you remember one killing back in the Bronx one time, when a gang of oh boy, about six. Young teenagers have killed a innocent 15 year old boy back in the Bronx. Yeah. Hunt the machete and everything in the hill. They got all the rest and they got, and they deserved, and they got justice the way they wanted. Yeah. That's why they got into prison. That's why they stayed there for life. This is talking, what we were talking, talking about. Talking about shootings in, in the late 90s, 
early 2000s, when I was living in the Bronx, um, I, mean, um, I grew up in Corp City, but when I was living in the Bronx, they had this thing with uh, Amadou Diallo shooting. Those yeah. tw- uh, uh, 41 times, 2 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning, police opened fire, and all the guy was doing was going for his wallet and keys. You know? Yeah. So, and he was in a wheelchair. So, I mean, go figure that. It was crazy. I know that. Yeah. Mm. It, yeah, but the Brian of the Bronx, that I know, we've been living in the Bronx too long. But if that shooting and that guy in the wheelchair is really, really gone crazy, I don't know. Why did police think it like one way or another? He said, one thing is there for our or oh, yeah. for and stuff, and they got still shot him? Forget yeah, it. That is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Um, I re- also remember, i got to throw in uh, one other thing, and this is, this is very important about about the shooting, too, because remember, when when Obama, we talk about Obama, and we talk about Pamela and everybody else, yeah. who was not supporting the gun control, congratulations, you were, you were really not supported. But for the guys who are Republicans and every other red state who supported Trump, you have to be ashamed of yourself, guys. Yeah, they do. This is not, this is not funny. This is not right what they did. And I say, let's end it once and for all. Yeah. Because it's time to put all the guns aside. Think about what's coming up next. And don't be surprised that any stupid shootings or any gun charge is not legal is going to get arrested for a legal person. Yeah. And I forgot to mention one thing, and I have to throw this in, I know we're very close to it. Yeah, we got five minutes um, left. Go ahead. It's about, it's about a 3D gun. You remember that 3D gun? Yeah, yeah. Which, which, which 3D gun was that? Well, somebody actually made a 3D gun, which they made, and they said to use it for a shooting, and it was legal? No. No. Mm. The Congress is going to put the stop to this, too, because when they make the crazy... Um, blueprint for a 3D gun that is making mm-hmm. a 3D printer, that is a total disgrace to what they did. And I say, you guys who make the blueprint, stop it. This is mm-hmm. not right. Well, and, and also, they should, uh, they should beef up airports, and they should, um, they, they, um, um, uh, and they should, uh, you know, ban Trump. Trump wants to ban video games involving guns. Oh yeah, I remember that part. But it's just like it's just not it's not real guns, but it's a fantasy video game. But that is ridiculous. Yeah, but you're shooting Nazis and you're shooting other, uh, you know, World War Two gun uh, mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, and, and also some of the right, like uh, remember that one, Grand Theft Auto, another one is that as well with mm-hmm. the guns involved in this. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Now, and it's, if you remember, you watch the show, and I just wanted to just want to talk about the show called Player Select. They had different gamers using with automatic, semi-automatic rifles and yeah, weapons. Yeah, yeah. This has been happening. And Trump says he doesn't want to get guns involved into video games. And that is, don't think I remember that part. Mm. Yeah. That's quite some time ago. Yeah, what about these toy guns they make for kids? They should stop making them. Yeah, they do. And no, but the way the way they make the toy guns is when they sell the toy guns, they put like orange tape or, or okay. something to make it a not real gun, so people don't think it's real. Yeah, that's stop making that's them because, because you never know. They're gonna probably they're gonna probably start banning water guns pretty soon. Exactly, that's what yeah. they're shelving every single person. Even the weapon is going to be very bad to kids. And I said, yeah. they made the right thing because if they do, this is going to be a safer world. Yeah. Okay, except, um, except, for, except for the punching, don't forget that. Well, we, yeah. um, before we end, uh, tell, us <coughs> where, uh, tell us when your show airs and where. I glad you asked me that. I'm going to tell you. Our sixth season returns the first week in October. And it's at eleven thirty to midnight, right before Five Five Ninja Beer. Now, for folks you think you just like Jennifer Day TV, it's not going to be. It's going to be my show, and then Five Five Ninja Theater. It's going to be on Brooklyn Free Speech One from eleven thirty to midnight. And there's an encore presentation. They now gave me an extra show. An encore presentation will be if you're up the early morning before you watch the morning news. 
you got to tune to the show first from 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. Friday morning. And that's all for complete this one. You can check it out on Facebook, on YouTube, on Pinterest, all of our social media platforms. You the folks watching on Roku, you see it on the screen did right you, now. Did you, get that, uh, did you get that job yet? Did they hire you yet? Well, right now, we're, well, right now with the folks over at Brick, we're hoping to get me an opening for volunteer work, so we're all hoping for the best anyway. Okay. So we'll wish our good luck. And also, on the SSI thing, I'm right now talking with uh, one of the attorneys here, and we can see if we can get this appeal out of the way once and for all. So this is what uh, this is what everything is going to get right to it, because with those denials and everything is going to decline, I'm not giving up hope. This is well, what, yeah, this don't is give hope. up hope. Keep no. going. Anyway, yeah, um, we would like to thank we would like to thank you, thank Ron Ronda for joining us on today's episode of um, of uh, oh, April yeah. on Air. Again, um, we would like to thank our sponsors: Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and um, Champlain Community Services. Thank you to our sponsors. And um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Down on Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. Arlene Seiler. And uh, due to the shootings in uh, Ohio and um, El Paso, stay safe out there. Do not open your door. If something happens, call the police. Call. And keep the door locked. Don't forget that. Call, huh? call emergency services and uh, um, stay safe. And be well. Uh, again, this puts an end to this edition of Able Down on Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Able Down on Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services. Empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont.